Daddy, what the hell are you doing? What the? Donna? Donna? What is this? What I just saw the two of you doing. Oh, my God. All right, calm down. Felicia, calm down. Let's just talk about no, it. No, I don't want to talk about it. I want it to stop. Felicia, this... You don't get to say a thing. I should go. No, 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 no. No, we're going to settle this right now. Daddy, I know that Mother upset you. You probably had another one of your fights. It was probably her fault. But this is not the way to make her pay for it. I'm not punishing your mother. Oh, yeah? Slurping all over Donna Logan? Whatever she did, she doesn't deserve this. Maybe she does. Are you having an affair? Is that what this is? This is not a conversation I want to have right now. No. As I just heard, it's not a conversation you want to have with anybody, and I don't blame you. Sneaking around with your son's leftovers real classy, Dad. All right, look, if you cannot show some respect... Me? What about you? Mother is off trying to pull her life together, and you are having... Sex, I guess, with her sworn enemy. Daddy, come on. You and Mom have spent too much time together to treat her like this. Whatever the problem is, you can get past it. Don't throw a lifetime away on Donna Logan. All right, Felicia, you've made your feelings known on the subject. You don't approve of Donna and me, so noted. You can try to dismiss me, but you know what? Mother will be back. So look out. She's the one who better watch it. If she's brazen enough to show her face here again. All right, you know what? I need to know now. What did Mother do th th to deserve this kind of treatment? I mean, you keep saying something about some terrible sin. Terrible. What? Try vicious. Vile. Almost inhuman. Thank you for your totally unbiased assessment. Involved with... What, how, how? Andy Johnson, honey. Andy Johnson. Your mother met with him. She called him. She encouraged him to, to go to after Ray Brooke. Brooke? No, no, That's Ray what Daddy. it led to because of Stephanie's scheming and her total disregard for Brooke's personal safety. This guy could have been Jack the Ripper for all Stephanie cared. As long as it, it took her away from Ridge and kept her from getting her kids back. Whoa, time out. This isn't making any sense. Mother told me that she heard somewhere that Brooke had some secret admirer. I was at Cafe Russe, and I saw Brooke. They were there. They were having dinner together. It was in the paper the next day. So I called Mother, and I told her, yeah, you're right. Brooke's on a date with this guy. A date? It wasn't a date. This guy had been stalking her. Thanks to Stephanie pushing him, telling him my sister was alone and vulnerable. Felicia, he followed her home from the restaurant. Now, Ridge got a hold of this guy's cell phone, and it showed that he got a, a call from this house minutes before the attack. It's definitely egging him on, no doubt. But she even told him where to find the key. Under the flower pot, oh. by the door. No, my mother... Yes, she did! Stephanie was trying to hurt my sister like never before. And she succeeded. If it weren't for your mother, my sister would have never been raped. I hate that Brooke was raped. It makes me sick, okay? But my mother was not responsible. She didn't even know that Andy was violent, okay? Because she didn't even bother to check. I mean, Stephanie told this total stranger everything she could think of about Brooke. The court took her kids away. She was alone in that house. All of her personal, private business. The best way to get to her? How to push her buttons? Did you ever wonder why Brooke never called the police? Because Andy blackmailed her with information Stephanie gave him. Felicia, the bottom line is this Stephanie left town without talking to Brooke, much less apologizing. She just wrote a letter and took off. She didn't have the decency, much less the guts, to face Brooke. And to me, that's inexcusable. The fact that Stephanie handled it the way she did, that speaks volumes. So before you stand up for your mother, you should at least know... Don't that. you tell me I can't stand up for my mother. I will stand up for my mother. Because whatever my mother may have done, it doesn't justify your behavior. It's a, seducing my brother for revenge, and now my father? That's not what's happening here, Felicia. Like, Donna helped me get the company back. We owe her. Oh, I don't owe her a thing. My mother will be back. And when she's back, all of this will be explained.
and she and my father will work things out. So you stay the hell away from my father. You stay the hell away from my house, because if I catch you here again... Here, what? What are you going to do, Felicia? Trust me, Cupcake. It won't be pretty. You do not want to mess with me.